Welcome to Uncut. I'm Steve Adubato. On this particular edition of Uncut, we are recognizing 25 people that the Rustberry Making a Difference Awards, uh, they're celebrating their 25th anniversary. 25 for 25. 25 people, extraordinary people of the 366 who have been recognized over this uh, quarter century um, for making a difference. And I've been honored to host that event from day one. And more importantly, one of those winners from 2019, we recognize Karen Munroy, who is founder and CEO of Ability to Work and Grateful Bites. So good to see you, Karen. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. You know, tell folks exactly what your organization is all about, because you are making a big difference every day. So we are focusing on individuals who are differently abled. Oftentimes they have diagnosis like autism or Downs, or uh, maybe they're just in the pervasive developmental disorder spectrum without a diagnosis. And what we do is we provide them a safe space for them to be able to learn all of the emotional and social skills and also technical skills for them to be able to thrive in the world and find a place in the world. So our emphasis is on inclusion. Our emphasis is on teaching others the simple tools that they can learn to help support individuals who are differently able to be success in the world. It's also personal for you. It's very personal for me. My son is one of the um, folks who is at Ability to Work and Great exactly. Advice. And I started the organization because I had spent so much time looking for something that I thought would help him thrive. And I couldn't find anything. I felt, um, I found a lot of restrictions. I found a lot of limited thinking. I, you know, I found so many different things that were, you know, just simply disappointing to me, and I knew they weren't going to work for him. So, you know, we um, put our heads together and started Ability to Work, and I really based it off of looking at what worked, scientific methods, um, did, you know, several years of research before I even um, started the organization. And so a lot of thought and a lot of contemplation, a lot of work went into it. And I, you know, for the most part, we've really been a success. I mean, of course, with COVID, uh, there's all new challenges and life That's is right. very different. But, you know, your son, Zachary, right? He yes. goes by Zach, right? Yep. Zach likes to bake, right? Yes. And connect that to Grateful Bites. So right now, uh, what we're doing is uh, at Ability to Work, we are taking orders online only, and we're doing no contact pickup. So the support individuals are still with our folks. We've um, added a few things because obviously the business model for it has changed. Sure. And uh, without having a cafe that's open that folks can come into, we still want our individuals to be able to practice those social and emotional skills, which are really key, key in their development. And, you know, so we've made partnerships, for instance, with Meals on Wheels. And Meals on Wheels. Um, allows them to do no contact deliveries, but to do the wellness checks through the doors and, you know, make sure that um, they get the practice that they need, but they're also providing a wonderful service in the community and can take mm -hmm. their, their esteem and their, their pride from that. So between Grateful Bites and between partnering with the community, the apprentices are really pretty busy. But the other thing is you're continuing to make a difference because in spite of all those challenges, you are bringing, you and your organization are bringing baked goods to healthcare workers. You're making oh, yeah. a difference every day. Yes, yes, yes. So we, uh, when COVID, we have a hospital not too far from us. So at the height of COVID, we were doing breakfast for the entire emergency room staff and we were doing breakfast for the entire COVID staff. So certainly doing that. Also in the mix are nursing homes because right. the nursing right. homes obviously have a whole other set of really unique challenges. And so able to do different lunches and different breakfasts for them. And, you know, we just took donations online from the community and said, you know, hey, if you can help us do this and help 
us continue, you know, to keep this going. We're happy to do it. And, you know, it's a great win-win because the apprentices are still busy. Um, doing very meaningful work and work that they love. And they obviously know that things have changed with COVID and are finding their ways to mm -hmm. be valued and contributing members of society, which to us is one of the most important aspects that they view sure. themselves as valuable contributing sure. members of society and that society views them that way. Karen, let, let me ask you this. You win the award, the Rustberry Making a Difference Award, um, you're one of the 25 for 25 yeah. we're recognizing in this yeah. series. You meet some wonderful people who are also yeah. 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 Um, making a huge difference. What did and what does that award mean to you? Well, I, you know, I have to say it, it, it means so much in so many ways because, I mean, we are a small organization. We're very much working in the trenches. We're very grassroots. And sometimes we just don't pick our head up to breathe. You know, we can't. There's, there's just so much going on. So to have someone like the Raspberry Foundation come along and notice what we were doing, I didn't even know they were noticing what we were doing truthfully and that's what they do really nervous <laughs> if i'd known there was an award or i i don't know what i would have done but in any case you know with the ability for us um to then let other people know hey we have a model here that works and the raspberry is this wonderful glue and conduit you know through covid but through all the other things that we've done in our organization that allow us to keep growing and reaching out. And mm -hmm. I've had some phenomenal conversations with different um, staff members who are part of Raspberry, who have connected me with other folks who are thinking about growing or thinking about trying to do something. And I'm able to offer them my expertise. Sure. And I've been able to ask others, you know, through the Raspberry Foundation um, for some expertise. So, you know, it's this wonderful alchemy between being glue that sort of helps you move in a direction and helps others move in a direction. And at the same time, helps bring recognition to the work that you're doing because you are in the trenches so much yeah. and you don't always pick your head up. Other people may not notice, but thanks to the foundation, um, you know, we have a lot of inquiries about tell us how you're doing that. And we're developing and working with transition teams at other schools throughout New Jersey to teach them what we're doing so those individuals who are aging out in the populations don't feel so lost. Can I got to say this to you? The other thing the foundation has done is A, they brought us together. They've yeah. introduced us yeah. to so many yeah. special people that we right. feature on Uncut and our public broadcasting. Uh, this will be included in our one-on-one -on -one series as well. Um, and they support our not-for-profit. So yeah. um, listen, I, I have to tell you, I, I'm honored to, to know you, to be okay. a part of this larger 25 for 25 initiative. We, we wish you and all your colleagues that ability to work and Grateful Bites all the best. And Congratulations for being a part of a very special group of people. Thanks so much. Well, thank you so much, Stephen. Thank you so much for your support of the organization and your support of us and everything that we do, because obviously you're one of the linchpins that, you know, keeps the information flowing. So I really appreciate that. So thank you. All the best, Karen. Take care. All the best. Bye-bye. We'll be right back.